Welcome to Project 11. By the end of this course, you will have built a plugin that looks like this one, but with your own spin on the graphics. Your plugin will have all of the same functionality demonstrated here. Let's take a quick look at the feature set. Project 11 is an 8-band channel EQ which features three processing modes and automatic gain compensation. You can adjust the gain and frequency for all 8 bands. The first and last bands are low cut and high cut filters with adjustable slope. The inner four bands are parametric filters with adjustable quality. The two remaining bands are low shelf and high shelf bands with adjustable quality as well. You can process incoming stereo audio as stereo, dual mono, and mid side audio. In stereo mode, both channels of audio are processed with the same EQ settings. In dual mono mode, you can control the left and right channels separately. In mid side mode, you can control the mid and side audio signals separately. Let's talk about the GUI. On the left and right, we have stereo meters. These meters show the instantaneous and averaged signal level before applying the EQ and after applying the EQ. The top of the display features bypass buttons for the individual bands. In the center of the display is the response curve and spectrum analyzer. The response curve features draggable nodes that control the frequency and gain of the different bands of the EQ. Below that are the main controls for each filter. You can adjust the gain, frequency, quality, and slope of the different bands here. The main app controls are at the bottom of the display. These widgets control the DSP mode used to process incoming audio, the properties of the spectrum analyzer, and the automatic gain compensation controls. When the spectrum analyzer is enabled, you can control the decay rate as well as the resolution of the FFT analysis. The automatic gain compensation allows you to control the slew rate when compensating for any changes in signal level between the pre-equalized audio and the post-equalized audio. Finally, you can trim the incoming and outgoing audio using the trim controls underneath the meters. You can boost or cut by 18 decibels. All of these user adjustable parameters are saved whenever you close and reopen the GUI. All right, that's the feature set for the plugin. You're going to make all of these different elements in this project and they'll all be accurate. Project 11 is a mentored course, so let's go over what that means. A mentored course is one where you are provided with all of the steps needed to complete a particular project and a mentor guides you through them. You do all of the work and the mentor makes sure that you do it correctly. Here is how that is accomplished in Project 11. Project 11 is managed via a JIRA board. You'll create the board in your JIRA account, you'll add me as an administrator, and I will add all of the issues to the board and assign you one issue at a time. You'll also create a Bitbucket repository for the project and add me as an administrator there. You'll make branches for each JIRA issue and submit pull requests for each issue, which you will then assign to me to review. I will then review your code. I will be making sure that you are moving in the correct direction when completing these project issues. I will be making sure that you're not making bad design decisions, and if you get stuck, I'll be helping you get unstuck. Plugins aren't built all at once. They are built step by step, implementing one feature at a time according to a plan. You're going to build this plugin the exact same way. One feature at a time according to a plan. Discussions about the project will take place in a private Slack workspace where conversations can occur via direct messaging, audio and video chats, and with screen sharing if needed. By the end of this course, you will have built a plugin that looks very similar to this one, but with your own spin on the graphics. And you will be the one who wrote all of the code. Once again, welcome to Project 11.